Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another declutter. I feel like the last declutter I posted was literally two months ago. So I'm bringing back my little declutter series for 2022. Today we're going to be going through my blushes, but before we jump into it, I did want to give a couple disclaimers. Number one, if you're coming into this video expecting it to be like maximalist to minimalist this is not your video i love my blushes i love my makeup i'm not going to force myself to get rid of things that i actively enjoy especially as i rotate through my makeup pretty regularly and two anything that i am decluttering if it is good condition or brand new i will be posting it on my poshmark my poshmark link is always linked in the description box below i had a couple questions on my last declutter as to where it is located so if you scroll down through the description box to the connect with me I have all of my socials links and my Poshmark link is right below, I think like my Instagram link or something. So it's right below all of my social links if you're interested in checking out anything that I'm decluttering. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I would say the majority of my blushes are in this top drawer. We have all sorts of ColourPop, more ColourPop, NARS. These are all MAC. And then in the back, I have just literally everything possible shoved back there, but it gets worse. We also have it overflowing in the front part of my bronzer drawer. So these are all cream blushes. And then I have a couple of these blush trios from One Size Beauty. We come over to my desk, this main unit, and this is my Shop My Stash Everyday Makeup drawer that looks trashed right now. But we have lots of blushes in here still, lots of these Valentine's Day ones just because they're bulkier and I just can't store them as easy as the others. And if we pop up into my acrylic drawers, I also have a ton of blushes in here too. Here is my monstrosity of a blush collection. And I'm sure I'm missing some somewhere. I have so many gosh dang blushes, but I love blush. Blush is one of my favorites, if not my favorite category of makeup. So let's go ahead and dive in. I don't know how much I'm going to be getting rid of. I just know I need to get some of this stuff out of my collection. So yeah, I'm gonna start with some for sure I'm not getting rid of. I'm definitely not getting rid of my Pat McGrath. This is in the shade Flirtatious, I believe, and this is one of my favorite blushes ever. Couldn't figure out how to open this one, but this one is gorgeous. I love this one. There's no way I'm ever getting rid of this. Literally my current go-to blush. Actually, it's been my current go-to blush for the past probably year and a half. Speaking of Pat McGrath, I have the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. This is the blush trio. It is love at first blush i'm not getting rid of this one either first off pat mcgrath is extremely expensive but second off pat mcgrath is also extremely nice so i'm going to be keeping this one as well moving on i think one i can get rid of is this tart one this is in the shade doll face and i remember i purchased this while i worked at ulta and it's not a bad blush it's actually a really pretty blush but i feel like I never wear this and I bought it and I haven't really used it. I've used it maybe a couple times. So I think I can get rid of this one without any harsh feelings. I have a ton of blushes from the ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. So they came out with a few blushes last year and then they came out with more and I do have all of them. The first one I have here is in the shade Love Me Not. This is a very pretty red. I don't wanna get rid of this one because I love red blushes. This one is in the shade Kiss and Tell. This one is such a pretty natural shade and I actually have two of these. I think this one is also Kiss and Tell. This one came in this past year's Valentine's Day collection when they re-released the blushes so this one is brand new it still has the little sticky tab and everything so I'm gonna get rid of the new one because I don't need to have two and I'm gonna keep my used one and let me just go ahead and open all these up so this one is in the shade baby cakes very pretty deep blush I have forever yours another very pretty one this one's more corally we have text me these are so hard to open with long nails i even just trimmed my nails this one's pretty this one's actually very similar to this one uh, we have let's dance very pretty this one's more of a natural shade and this last one is flirt alert very pretty nude i actually think i'm gonna keep all of these because i really like the packaging i love the hearts and ColourPop's blushes are very nice. I have this one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Crush. This is just a really pretty nude blush. This came out in her Valentine's Day collection a couple years back. I'm gonna pass this one along. 
it's not bad. I, I love the color. It's very pretty, but I feel like there's nude blushes I prefer to this one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I have two of these milk makeup blush sticks. These are both in the shade work. I don't feel like I need both and I definitely don't need, okay. I don't know what I just did. I just broke it. I definitely don't need two and I don't think I've ever used these actually. It's kind of pretty. I think I will keep one and pass one along. So I'll keep this one because I just swatched it and then I'll pass along the brand new one. I have so many blushes. I don't know where to start. The Saharan Blush Volume 1. This one I had in my kit for the longest time, but honestly, if you take away the hot pink, I don't even know if I've actually used this. I know I had it in my kit, but I don't think I've actually used it. I'm going to pass this along. I'm not going to use it. It's way too dark for me and I don't freelance makeup very often anymore. I have these two one size beauty trios. This first one is in the shade Freaky Peach. This is a very pretty peach shade. I really like this one. I wore this one a lot when we went back home to California and this one is in the shade Firestarter which is bright orange. Very pretty. I'm going to keep both of these. They're relatively new. I just hauled them, I think, a month ago. I have two of these blushes from ColourPop. We have On the Horizon and Crossroads. I can't even remember what On the Horizon looks like. Okay, it's just a pink. And then Crossroads is more of a nude. I think I'm going to get rid of On the Horizons because I can't even remember the last time I used this one. Crossroads, at least I can remember using and liking. So I'm going to keep Crossroads and get rid of On the Horizon. I have these two from Milani. Again, I can't remember when I use these or if I even use them. This is in the shade Coral Beams. I must have used these forever ago, but I can't remember. And Romantic Rose. This one I do remember using. I used it maybe once or twice. I'm gonna pass both of these along. I'm just not gonna use them. I'll see if maybe one of my sisters wants them. We have this Wet n Wild Pac-Man Blush Quad. I actually really enjoy this one. I think it's really pretty. I like the shades. I am gonna keep this one. We have two ColourPop blushes from the She's Got Solstice collection. We have Meteorite, which is pretty terracotta e nude and this one is in interstellar i think i'm gonna get rid of interstellar i feel like they're very similar and i tend to wear more of like warm nudey blushes so i think i'm gonna get rid of this one it's so pretty but i don't need to keep it for the packaging i think i'm gonna get rid of it doing good doing good better than i thought i would at this point in the game i have this one i just got from benefit this is in the shade butterfly i'm gonna keep this it's a very pretty orange and i'm obsessed with this shade on myself so I'm going to keep this one. Let's go ahead and go through my ColourPop blushes some more. I don't know how much I'm going to get rid of or if I'm going to get rid of any other ColourPop blushes because I actually really like the ColourPop blushes, but I feel like I have too many. So this one is from the Lizzie McGuire collection. It is in the shade Delish. Very pretty. I actually keep this one in my acrylic drawers because I use it so often. It's just such a pretty, perfect pink. This one is You Are Magnifico. A very hot pink really like this one too these are from the powerpuff girls collection this one is fighting crime a very hot fuchsia e pink and then we have saving the world which is an orangey corally pink that i dug my thumb into i'm gonna keep both of those these are from the i think it was called the go for baroque collection so we have vogue and this one is the one i reach for more out of the two it's a very pretty one and then Chase, I think is how you say it, is this really pretty peach. I do like both of those. We of course have a couple from Animal Crossing. First is Flower Tender, very pretty peach. And Flower Power, which is more of this muted mauve shade. And we have two more in this one. This one is from the Sailor Moon and ColourPop collab. It is in the shade from the moon. It has Luna with the little X of band-aids on her head. It's super cute. And this is a gorgeous hot pink. I really like this one. I love Sailor Moon. So I will be keeping this one as well. Matchmaker is just this very pretty no blush blush. It is so subtle, so pretty. I'm going to keep it as well. I'm wondering if I should put my heart blushes in this one just for like display. Get this out of the way. 
blush is a hard one for me to get rid of. I'm just gonna be straight up. I love my blushes. I have this one from Rem Beauty. This is in the shade Stage Mom, and this is relatively new. I just got it this past spring when I reviewed Rem Beauty on my channel. I actually reach for this one a lot. I keep this one in my everyday makeup drawer as well. I have this little baby one from Tarte. This is in the shade Harmony. Very pretty. Good for travel. Gonna keep. I have this one from Benefit. This is the Coralista blush, and this is a really pretty Coralista-y blush. It's very pretty, very corally, but I like the butterfly one that I showed earlier a little bit more, so I am going to get rid of this one. I, of course, have some more ColourPop blushes. First one is the Zoella and ColourPop pressed blush. This is a really pretty peach, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I've been on the fence about it, I really liked Zoella when I was younger, but I don't want to keep something just because it has her name on it. And I can't remember the last time I pulled this one out. It's in the shade Soulmate. And I feel like I've kept peachy blushes that I like. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I can't believe I got rid of a Zoella blush. I'm crazy. We have two from the One and Done collection. I just reviewed this on my channel not too long ago. So this is Prairie Air very pretty pink and this one is burn card which is a hot magenta i haven't actually gotten to try this one yet but i am interested in it this one is from the off melrose collection it is in the shade juice bar i really like this one as well we have this one from kylie it is the shade winter kissed this one is a very pretty pinky blush but i wasn't planning on getting rid of this one but i think i'm actually gonna get rid of this one as well because i can't remember the last time i used this either i don't want to get rid of it because i remember getting this collection it was when i didn't have a whole lot of money to just spend on makeup so i feel like weird getting rid of it but i also know that i'm not going to use it i'm going to set this aside in a maybe pile because i don't have the guts to just say it right now this is just my pluck from ColourPop. this is a mauvey blush and this one is very similar i think to the animal crossing one as well am i crazy or they're just like a lot of dupes for each other in here actually this is pretty warm and it has a sparkle just my pluck from ColourPop. i think i'm gonna keep for now i think eventually i need to just take all my ColourPop ones and lay them all out and kind of compare and contrast this is in the shade desert rose i actually love reaching for both of these blushes so i'm gonna keep both of these this one is night bloom this one's like lavender very pretty so i'm gonna keep both of those i have this chanel blush and if i'm being honest i think i'm actually gonna get rid of this I remember purchasing it it has like the little brush I remember purchasing this and thinking I was just so cool because I had a luxury item Chanel's products all smell like roses and it just really I just don't like the smell so I think I'm gonna get rid of this I've even kept it in this like little velvety thing I think I'm gonna pass this along honestly I like the Pat McGrath blushes more I'm trying to be good I have quite a few from Mac right here let me move all this out of the way let me go ahead and pull all of my Mac blushes out this is all of them so this is from the lunar beauty collection i think in 2018 2019 this is in melba and love cloud very pretty new duo i like to mix them together and create like a peach it's very soft and subtle pretty packaging this is another lunar new year blush in the shade dynastic fantastic and this one is gorgeous i actually really like this one this one i also like to mix together to create a peach it's actually very similar to the other one i think i'm gonna keep both of those and here we're getting into tougher blushes so i have this one from the black cherry collection it's in the shade dilly dolly this is really pretty i actually really like this one so i am going to keep it this one's one of my favorite spring summer blushes and i'm also going to keep my glow play in totally synced this is more of like a lavender these two are very similar this one is steamy blush and this one is gingerly so gingerly is this really pretty nude and steamy is supposed to be the like extension of the C Sheer blush or C Sheer lipstick but honestly that's not my favorite lipstick and I'm keeping this because this was when they did their monochromatic collection forever ago and I know you can't get it anymore and for whatever reason when things are not available anymore I just can't get rid of them but I think it's time because I think about this all the time how similar these two are and I always prefer gingerly over this one so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one then we have apple red this one is the most pretty true red blush you've ever seen it's supposed to be ruby woo as a blush and we have the Rocky Horror Picture Show blush in the shade Crazed Imagination. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. 
I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pass this one along. I don't need to keep it for the packaging. This color is a lot more subtle than I'd like for myself. I think I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get rid of it. I also have this one from the Mac and Stranger Things collection in the shade He Likes It Cold. This is another really pretty red. How often do I really use red blushes? I'm gonna keep both for now. One day when I'm feeling more cutthroat, I will force myself to get rid of more. I will consider this a good downsize considering all of my MAC blushes now fit in one section. I also have this one from The Simpsons collection. This is the shade Sideshow You. I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. I do use this one occasionally. It's a very pretty peach. Okay, I've been thinking about the Kylie. Honestly, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna get rid of it because I can't remember the last time I used it. I don't need it. And I think I might actually go through my ColourPop blushes again at the end because I feel like I can get rid of more than what I did. I have quite a few super shocks. I know I'm missing one, but I do not know where it is. So we're just gonna roll with it. I will most likely be keeping the other Tinkerbell blush. But these are all my super shock cheeks. This is in the shade Count Me In, as you can see. She is very loved. <laughs> she has a pretty big pan. My goal is to actually finish this blush and get rid of the packaging. I love the Super Shock cheek formulas. I think they're so nice. I have this one from the Candyland collection in shade Gummy More. It's a very pretty peachy. It smells like peach rings. I feel like these three are all very similar. Like I don't feel like I need all three of these. This one's in the shade Drive Me Crazy. I have a shimmery orange. This one is in the shade Doozy. And then we have Stop It from the Bretman Rock Collection. I feel like these are all so similar. I almost think I can get rid of this one because if I pull out my Freaky Peach, am I crazy? I feel like these are pretty similar. This one's a little darker. There we go. If I pull out Firestarter, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It is in the shade Drive Me Crazy. I'm going to see if one of my siblings wants this. So I don't know how comfortable I feel passing along cream cheek products, even if I've only used them once. And I'm going to keep these two because like I said, I really love neutral blushes, like neutrally brown blushes, but I also really love orangey blushes on myself. So I'm going to keep these two. I also have these three. So two of them are from the Tinkerbell collection. This is in the shade Darling. It is a very pretty bronzy blush. I really like this one. I think I actually used this one when I reviewed this collection on my channel. I was literally, I think over here ago now. And then Magic Moon is a peachy. This very much looks like that one we just got rid of. So I'm gonna keep this one. And I also have, this is Ooh, She's Blushing. Again, from the Bretman Rock collection. It is a very pretty hot pinky i love this one it's so pretty this collection is so old i don't even know how old this collection is but i'm gonna keep this one as well i wonder if i can fit all of my super boxes in here perfect they all fit in this little cubby and put this somewhere let's go ahead and pull these out this is the last of my blushes to go through <sighs> let's do it okay this one i really thought i was gonna keep i thought i was gonna keep this forever and ever and i thought i was gonna love it but I can't remember the last time I used it. I've literally just kept it for the packaging. It is the Too Faced blush in Sweethearts. They don't make their blushes in these packaging pretty things anymore. I don't think I need this. I thought I needed it because it was a heart and it was a part of makeup history. I don't think I need it. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I need to make space. It's so bulky. I also have this one from Too Faced. This is a pomegranate. I actually got this when I worked at Ulta as gratis and this collection came out when they first launched their 2D Fruity collection, I think. So I did get this one for free to review and I think I'm gonna keep this one. I do like this one. Two from NARS. This is in the shade Dulce Vita. Dolce Vita, I can never remember. This looks a lot like the MAC and Rocky Horror Picture Show one I got rid of. So I think I can keep this one. And I also have Orgasm. I feel like Orgasm is such a staple. I don't feel like I can get rid of either of these. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them both. I am the worst at decluttering things, but we all know we don't come to my channel for declutters. We come to my channel for makeup. This is in the shade Quickie from Urban Decay Afterglow Blush. It is a hot pink. I actually remember purchasing this at the Denver airport when I had a layover. I'm gonna keep that. Memories we love. This is the NARS Wanted One Cheek and Eyeshadow Palette. This one I'm on the fence about because I really liked... A lot of these shades like I, I used these two so much and I really liked the lavender but I feel like the lavender is very similar to my MAC glow play I think I'm ready to get rid of this 
I, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I really liked these two. These were so pretty. There's me, hello. I really like the lavender and I really like the red. These two are pretty basic. These two are definitely basic. I have those like a hundred times over. These I have a couple times over. I have this in like the matte glow play and this looks kind of like the Stranger Things Mac. I think I'm gonna be strong and I'm gonna declutter this. We are down to the final few. I have quite a few of these ColourPop blush sticks. I don't even know if they make these anymore. This one is in the shade Cool It. This one was a holy grail of mine for the longest time. It's a very pretty cool tone blush. Very pretty still. I think I'm going to keep Cool It. Lots of good memories with Cool It. I have this one is in the shade Too Hot. It is a very hot pink. This one doesn't have a shade because it's rubbed off but this one i think is kind of a darker and this one is in the shade shell out which is a coral shell out hasn't even been used i think i'm gonna get rid of shell out i think i'm gonna keep the other ones because i have used them and i feel like there's no point in throwing away stuff i know they weren't that expensive i do like the hot pink i do think i'd use the hot pink and this one they're, they're colors i would use i just don't feel comfortable passing along this kind of stuff if i've used it so i'm gonna keep these three i'm gonna get rid of that other one shell out i have this serum blush in the shade bubbles the cheek do i do like this one it's pretty not my fave but it's nice i'll keep it florence by mills in the shade glowing g Oh, this is like completely dried up. Oh, no, it's not. I just had to scrub it. Um, I'm going to move this to my everyday makeup drawer, see if I use it a little more. And if I don't, then I'll toss it. But if I do use it, then I'll keep it. This one is from Revolution, the matte blush. I honestly think it's time for me to just toss this because it is so gosh dang old. It's just in the shade Nude. I think it's time. I'm going to toss this one. And then I have this one from Tarte in the shade very flush. I really like this one, so I'm going to keep this one. And I also have this Jeffree Star Jaw, what is this? Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker blush palette from my Valentine's Day mystery box unboxing. I'm going to keep this one. I do keep this one in my everyday acrylics, and I do use these two pretty regularly. This one, not so much. And now that I'm like talking myself through some of these blushes, I feel like some of these are very similar and I can afford to get rid of one or two. Let me go ahead and pull out the ones I'm thinking. These two I feel like are very similar. You know what? I did like this one the few times I've used it, but I don't feel like I need to keep it. Packaging aside, like if this packaging were like brown, I wouldn't feel the necessity to keep it, but I really like this purple color. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Let me see if I can fit all of my color pop blushes into one of these not the heart ones just the regular powder ones i forgot to mention i do have the brown blush from this collection but i keep it in my bronzer drawer because i use it as a bronzer not a blush okay let's see i like to group them by collection i think i successfully decluttered enough that i don't feel bad anymore i feel like everything fits nicely so i move these two guys up perfect perfect here is everything I took out of that drawer. I'm pretty happy with the progress. Blush is super hard for me to go through. I'm very emotionally attached to my blushes. Anything that is new or very, very gently used, I will be listing on my Poshmark. I always include that in the description boxes of my videos. Anything that is pretty used, I will offer to friends and family. Uh, this one I'm just going to toss because it's so gosh dang old. But yeah, pretty proud of that pardon the lighting it is now evening but here is what my final blush drawer looks like i have all my beautiful heart blushes my mac blushes and my color pop blushes all lined up i have my cream blushes and i have like my two nars and tart blushes back there and if i close that drawer and go back down to my bronzer drawer i really like how this one turned out as well i have my few blush palettes back here with my cheek palettes I have my Super Shock Cheek blushes in this little container. I like to keep my cream blushes all together. And then I have these two One Size Beauty trios. So I'm very happy with how this is looking. I'm very proud of that. I feel very good about my declutters. The store is looking very empty because I did do my bronzer declutter earlier this year. But I'm very happy with how it's looking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little declutter. Let me know which category you want to see decluttered next, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.